it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today I'm going to show you guys my throw pillow collection. So I have some throw pillows that I've kept over the years from old bedding. And a lot of them I made when I had like my twin beds and I shared this room with my sister. Sister, and I'm going to show you guys all the throw pillows that I have. A lot of this kept these I kept on my twin bed. I actually don't have that many anymore. I had more, but I think a lot of them I got rid of because they were either ruined by the cats when we had cats, or they were, um, or I just got rid of them when I cleaned out my room. So I'm going to get started. So the first throw pillow I have is this white, uh, this kind of cream colored one. It's got roses on it. This came from an old bedding I got when I was nine. Um, it's got some, uh, it's kind of like lost its color and it's a little stained right here. Not sure what happened here, but it's kind of stained and I um, don't know what happened. I've had it since I was nine. It's got like little buttons. I don't know if you can take the cover off or anything, but it's got like little buttons on it on it on the back for your back so um yeah that's what it looks like it came with like a quilt i had but um i don't have that anymore i gave it to my mom i think or we just got rid of it i don't know what happened to the quilt so i have another pillow from that same ba bedding it's a round pillow and like i said it's got roses on it and this is what the back feels like um it's not in the best of condition because i've had this since i was nine years old well, and it's got like a stain there. I don't even know if that's coffee or something. I don't know what happened there. Um, it's been like this since I was a kid. Um, I've It's been in this thing for years. So I think some of these pillows are not in the best condition because they've been in here for years. And um, so it came from that same bedding with the quilt. And um, it was really nice and white when we first got it, but now it's like all old and off white because the color changed. Next, I have this pillow, which I quilted when I was not sure how old I was, but it's not really in the best condition either because there's an opening right here, and I think it might be coming apart from the sewing. And um, I made one for my sister, too, in the same kind of, like, pattern, but um, in the same um, kind of, like, pattern almost, but except different colors. And um, this is what the back looks like. It's got some paisley, which is my mom's favorite pattern. And I made this, I think, when I was about 12 or 13. I don't remember how old I was, but I remember I was pretty young when I made this. I next have this ginormous peace pillow that I knitted. And it's in different colors because, and it's like really big and ruffly because I messed up the pattern. And I'll show you guys what the back looks like. So this is what the back looks like. It's got like a hole in the middle because I didn't tie it um, enough and... Um, some stuffing is coming out as you can see not the best of condition so I learned definitely learned from my mistake to always um, sew tighter when you're with your knitting another throw pillow I have is this tiny pillow that I also knitted this is a bias knit pillow which is um, increasing to make bigger and decreasing to make smaller and this came out way too tiny don't know what happened but there's not enough stuffing in here so I don't know what to do with it um, with it it's just a tiny pillow so i just put it in here here i didn't even know this was in here the last pillow that i have is a pillow that i made in the eighth grade for um for my art class in eighth grade um, my teacher supplied all the sewing stuff um and my teacher supplied all the sewing stuff and we had to make a pillow for our eight, end of the year eighth grade project and I chose to do a seahorse and I didn't really do it correctly in the instructions because I didn't because I accidentally sewed this when I was supposed to add the embroidery on first first and then after I added the embroider and I because I accidentally sewed a little bit of this first before I put the embroidery on and then I embroidered it while it was still kind of sewed together and then this thing's kind of coming off it's like the little seahorse fin and then it's got little eyes and stuff. Isn't it really cute? I, like I said, I made this in the eighth grade and I am not the best at sewing, but at least I tried. Um, I hadn't, I haven't made like a, this, this was just a project I did for eighth grade and I did most of it. 
at home and I tried to do it in class but it was a little hard to focus so I just did it at home mainly which is good because my mom would keep a thing a thing of sewing supplies and I would use this to sew all of my um so and she'd let me borrow some of her sewing supplies so I could finish this and I finished it and it looks a lot and doesn't look as good as it did when I first made it it's because over time um, it kind of lost some of its luster like it's kind of like falling apart right here I don't know if you can see that the little fins coming off but it's still a cute pillow so I think those are all of my throw pillows so far I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you in a oh actually no I lied I don't have uh, I do have another throw pillow I'm gonna take you guys in to show you guys so here's another throw pillow that I made. I made this from the We Are Knitters, um, We Are Knitters, um, Happy Cushion. If you would like to try this, I'll leave a link to the kit down in the description box below if you wish to try it. It is a really fun pillow pattern. You definitely would like to, love to try it. I'll leave a link to this. And that's all of my throw pillows so far. Far, I have two, but I'm working, but I'm working on them right now so I can't show them so um so normally I just don't like having too many throw pillows on my bed but I like sometimes like them because I think they are a cute stash but I don't like having like like 10 or 5 throw pillows because I think it's just too much to put on my bed bed and these are my throw pillows so far that is my throw pillow collection so that was my throw pillow collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.